Hi, my name is Dr. Francois Lalonde. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon at uh, Children's Hospital of Orange County, and we'll be talking today about slip capital femoral epiphysis, which some call SCIFI for short. Slip capital femoral epiphysis involves slippage of the top portion of the femoral head. We often use the analogy of the ice cream ball on the cone, where the ball would slip with respect to the cone. The typical patient with this condition is an overweight uh, teenager that may have had several weeks or several months of either hip or groin pain or potentially thigh or knee pain. Once the condition is diagnosed on x-rays, surgery is recommended. This is a fairly minor procedure for the patient. It is done under general anesthesia. Child that has undergone uh, the procedure for subcapital femoral epiphysis will be uh, kept on crutches typically for about six weeks and uh, we'll have some modifications in activities anywhere from six to 12 months to prevent further stress to the hip and to minimize the chance of developing any blood supply problems to the bone. If a slip capital femoral epiphysis is caught early and is mild to moderate in severity, the child can expect to regain normal function and be cleared for most sports activities after the initial uh, period of protection against the blood supply condition to the bone. Children who present with what's considered to be unstable slip capital femoral epiphysis, where there was an acute event precipitating the condition, or who had a severe slippage of the bone, uh, may require a more extensive operation nine to 12 months after the initial pinning of the slip capital femoral epiphysis.